Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to divide a square into 5 parts. So, you can do this wherever you want. You can use a piece of paper or if you have some sort of straight edge, you can draw some lines and find one-fifth of a square. So, I'm going to prove how this works later on and it's actually a very simple proof. And this is actually a remake of a video, just saying. So, first I'm gonna, what I'm, we have to do is draw a diagonal. And then we're going to have to fold one-fourth of that square. And since if you're folding, this is going to be really easy since finding one-fourth of the square is just really simple. Once you find fold one-fourth of the square, then you can take one line. This is literally just three folds. You can take one line and go right here. And if you follow along with the diagram, as I told you to do, and you draw like a line that goes right straight through here, then you should have a, then this line right here is one-fifth, represents one-fifth of that square. So also, if you go this way too, this is also one-fifth of the square. So this point right here in the middle really just represents the one-fifth point, I guess whatever you want to call it. So now on to the proof. Of course, you might be baffled by this because you've probably never folded a square into one-fifth. And it just seems so weird to be able to do it so simply. And I'm just going to draw another square. So something like this. Okay. So let's do what we basically just did before. Except this time we're going to make this easier by not drawing that one-fourth line. In. So we're just going to draw this line here, because I already know that's one-fourth. So, like that. And then this diagonal. And we're trying to prove that this line that goes right here is one-fifth of the square. It splits the square into one-fifth and four-fifths. So, we can do this really simply by looking at these triangles' altitudes, and we can solve this by using similar triangles. So, let's call the side of this square x. And what we're going to do is, since we know that this is one-fourth x, and this is x, we know that these two triangles, and we know that these two triangles are similar, so this triangle and this triangle are similar. And if you don't understand, we can look at this in a different way. You see two lines, you see one line that's going through this way, and the, it's going through two parallel lines. So this line right here is a transversal. So therefore, the alternate angles, the op alternate angles are equal. And same goes for this line, and it's like that. So, wait, it's like this, sorry. So we have two, basically we have two similar triangles, if you can't see already. So since we have two similar triangles, and these sides are in the length of ratios 1 fourth and x, 1 fourth x and x, then the ratio of the small triangle to the big triangle is just 1 to 4. So if you don't know similar triangles, you can also apply this ratio to their altitudes. So these two altitudes right here are also in the ratio 1, one to 4. So this is good for us because then let's, let's just call this altitude right here y and this altitude right here uh, 4y since we know that it's they're in the ratio 4 to 1. So adding these together we should get x. So 4y plus y equals x. And then, when we add these together, we get 5y, and 5y equals x. So, therefore, y is x over 5. And since y is x over 5, which is what we saw right here, then this line should certainly split the square into 1 fifth and 4 fifths. So therefore, we have finished our proof, which means that we can easily find one-fifth of a square. Now, in some other videos, you might have seen that I have showed you how to split a square into three parts, 
and how to split a square into n parts, meaning that you can split a square into however many parts you want to. And I also have proofs for that too. So hopefully you can go check out those videos too if you're interested in this type of stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching.